Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me slash tutorial. I do really go in depth on this look right here. It's just like a orange and purple kind of smoky eye I guess you would call it. It's the look that I wore in my LA Girl Foundation first impression. I really love this makeup. As I said in that video, it is inspired by Laura Lee's like 10 minute makeup challenge that she did and I created this using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm actually filming this like five hours later because I went to edit my video and the lighting for like some of the outro and the intro was like super dark and the intro is really the most important part honestly because if like the lighting was bad in the intro and it got better it wouldn't really matter because some people would probably just click out because it was so dark I also talk about where I've been I just talk about a lot of stuff in the video. I really hope you enjoy the video and let's just get started. Wow, this is so good. I haven't filmed on this yet. This is my first time actually filming an actual video on this camera. Hopefully, y'all can notice a difference. That'd be pretty bad if you couldn't. I'm just starting with my Asante Super Smooth Concealer. Let me know down below if y'all like this lighting. If y'all like this camera, hopefully you do because I spent a big penny on it. I think I might do a whole video dedicated to like affordable camera setup besides the camera obviously the camera <laughs> isn't the affordable part everything else and you can make it work with whatever camera you have like even your phone i feel like it would be very helpful i'm just gonna set that with maybelline fit me loose yesterday i tried to film um one of my sit down videos like a jesus video in my room you know one i wasn't really into it i didn't do enough research but i was kind of just testing out the setup as well and i looked back at the footage just to see how like the footage was i was out of focus the whole time i think it's because there was just so much around me that it was hard like to figure out what to focus on since i do sit so far away from the camera i made a huge list of video ideas like, I'm talking huge. There's like 20 videos on there. So, if you didn't watch that LA Girl video where I did this makeup look, I already showed y'all what I did. I'm going to start out with like one of those two shades. I'm just going in with Silk Cream. I don't really know which one is the warmer one. I can't tell by just looking in the pan. I bet the other one is, but it's fine. I'm just kind of doing this to get a little bit... My eyelid's kind of looking patchy. Not the eyeshadow, but like... The concealer, like it kind of looks a little cakey. No, you cannot fail me now. Is this too bright? Is that better? Hopefully it's not too dark now. Then I'm gonna go in with Creamsicle. Can you just bear with me for this video because it's my first time filming in the setup? I'm gonna lightly go in with, I think that one might be Hunt's. I'm gonna put it on the brush and just tab it off to kind of bring it in easily first. I have a lot of video ideas I just ordered from Shop Miss A as well. I should be getting that, so you'll see a Shop Miss A haul. After I try those products out, I'm gonna do like my favorite Shop Miss A products, what you need to buy, all that I've tried at least. And of course, Shop Miss A like um, came out with their mattifying powder finally, like the one without any glitter in it. Um, right after I ordered, but it's fine. But I ordered five pairs of my Alexis lashes. I'll do testing new Shop Miss A. AOA Studio makeup. And then I'll also do maybe like a full face using only $1 brushes. They also came out with like a whole bunch of sponges and like all these tools and stuff yesterday. Like they had a huge launch. I'm gonna go in with my face powder and kind of blend the brow. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film all these videos this week so you're not gonna see a video last week but it's this week for me you won't see any videos i'm just trying to get all these videos filmed and edited and i have so many plans this week like i'm on break but like girl it's <laughs> not a break because i have so much that i'm doing and i'm so excited for it but like i thought that i was gonna be able to film like 7,000 videos but um i feel like Today's the only day that I have. I'm going to take more of that orange shade, but I'm just going to build it up more. And then I'll blend it out with the other brush. I'm also going to put it on the outer corner. I've only seen the first two episodes because when I'm filming this, that's all that's come out so far. I've started watching Rise, and I don't know if y'all have seen it, but it's kind of like a glee sort of situation, but instead of show choir, it's uh, theater. This eye look is super simple. like. 
Honestly, I could have already been at the purple by now. I'm just taking my time. Rise is really good and it has like kind of like family issues in it as well. So it's like a lot of relatable stuff. I feel like they're like fighting for the theater department because football gets all this money and like they don't get anything. So I posted this look on my Instagram story. Marley Valentine suggested me to do this. Marley, I hope you're watching. I hope you like it. Like fall. This is kind of getting a little cranberry, but I'm gonna go in with X. So I just feel like I need a little more deepening. I'm just gonna keep this strictly on the very outer corner. I think there is a little bit of a focusing noise but I'm gonna try and get more into like background music so that I can just kind of cover that up. If you have any good like background music like stuff, tell me down below like what places are good. Wow, I haven't like filmed my makeup in so long. I'm gonna go in with loyalty. The first thing I do is go in with it on my finger just to get it on there. And then I'll go in with a brush to get a little more precise there's not really too much fallout from these shadows if you can see like that's just me blending it out i'm just gonna go without a brush and i'm not spraying it or anything i'm just trying to blend it up into the crease can't wait to actually see this i look with a good face because if you watched that ellie girl video you know it wasn't the best if you haven't watched my like drive with me or like any of my other videos or if you're just now popping in then hey but like you wouldn't know, but I have been planning on getting the Canon G7X, so I'm just blending that uh, orange shade back into it. I just blend a lot. When I go in more of that Jax shade, the more cranberry shade, and kind of stamp it onto the very outer corner, and then go back with that. I'm gonna mix these two for my brow bone highlight. This a light and maybe i don't know this is so hard those two shades aren't too intense on the brush like i mean you can kind of barely see it now to the face i'm gonna go in with the wet n wild dewy primer i'm just using concealer today as well just because i really want to get back into using just Concealer because I used to do that all the time. Jake is uh, it's just so inspiring, girl. She doesn't wear foundation. I'm not trying to be braggy, but like I don't need foundation, so why would I put it on? Realistically, I don't wear foundation. Sorry. I do this whole thing where I correct with the Maybelline to Adrienne. I feel like I get a lot better coverage when I do this. I never use this concealer button mild as I don't. I'm not like trying to highlight this is literally I just need coverage there because this is actually like my same color of my skin tone. But I'm gonna start doing little mini makeup collection type thing. Like how I did my face mask collection basically. Today I'm gonna be doing my highlighter collection. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline powder. I'm just gonna set my chin a little bit. And then I'll actually sort of weird. So I was gonna try not set that much. Because I want to keep this part glowy. This powder just makes my forehead look so much better than it is. I know, like, it would probably look better if I just left it untouched. But, like, it just looks ten times better. So what I used in that video was e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. I just mix everything together with a stipple brush. I feel like this looks kind of intense. But I feel like that could just be because you literally can't see my face. For blush, I just went in with that, like, blushy shade and i hide i just load up my brush and then tap it off for the highlighter i'm gonna go in with this shade and it might look a little weird but since i'm doing like a pink inner corner i feel like it's gonna tie in really well i've been trying to do my highlighter more like mariah leonard because her highlighter always looks so perfect and smooth and she like she only takes like a lot like this more kind of brush and like just melts it into the skin but like i just feel like i couldn't do that like i'm trying to do this so that i blend with the tip you know i just love this highlighter i didn't even say what it was this is the wet n wild blossom glow mega glow highlighting powder now i'm gonna go back into the eyeballs i think i'm just gonna go with that one then that one then that one on the outer corner just a smid bit and then obviously the purple i'm gonna go in with creamsicle 
first I was kind of like that I feel like that could have been what I did like for the transition shade at first and I'm gonna go in with hunts and go from inner to outer corner blend it up I always do that I just blend it up so that there's a connection and then we're gonna go in with the purple and I'm going to try and keep it as close to the lash line as possible so that you can still see the orange. In my very inner corner, I went with ColourPop by Harvest, just kind of intensify the color. Old Allie would have just left it like this, but girl, I'm trying to be out of my comfort zone. I'm going to go in with that light pink shade. I'm going to actually go in a little bit with the highlighter just so that it will tie in with the highlighter. Let's take a little bit of this on the brow as well. I just want to tie like all the highlight together. So now I'm going to do mascara off camera and use my regular Maybelline Lash Sensational. On to the lips. I was going to try and do like a different lip than I did in that video, but I'm just going to do the same lip. This is my third video of me wearing this lip comb. I went in with... It was Studio Wonder Matte in Trend. Going over it with Elf Nostalgic. This is the finished look. I kind of feel like I've looked at the screen like the entire time. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. I just don't really like that side as much. I really like this side though. So yeah, that was my orange and purple smoky eye so i'm actually filming this a few hours later like five hours later that's why it might look a little different because it's a little wear and tear on it you know but this is how it looks way later but the lighting was a little janky so i just wanted to refilm it really hope you all enjoyed this video please leave any fit recommendations down below thank you so much for watching bye <gasps> no hurry i just totally dug my old finger in that <coughs> Stop looking at the screen. Okay, whatever. Done. Thank you. Alright. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Yeah, I'm kind of bullish. Enjoy the video.